Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. This week is Swedish Midsummer, one of the biggest holidays in Sweden. Yes, we're in Toronto, far from Sweden, but in the last couple of years, I've been celebrating it with my core group of friends, the Swedes. And as you saw in my last video, they've all moved back to Sweden. So this year, I'm going to be celebrating it solo and with a bit of social distancing since COVID is still happening. I need an outfit for this, so let's go and make one. Now, let me tell you a bit about Midsummer. Nope, not that Midsummer. Although I do want to see that movie, but please, no spoiler alert, as I want to be able to watch it while at the same time reading about the plot summary on Wikipedia while it plays in the background. Does anyone else do that while watching Netflix, or is it just me? Anyway, back to Midsummer, the holiday that celebrates summer solstice, the longest day of the year. Traditionally, Swedes will flock to the countryside where they'll drink aquavit, dance around the maypole, and eat plenty of hairy. Yes, they do more than just that, but you get the gist of it. It's a time to enjoy the warm summer months while singing plenty of drinking songs. <laughs> My kind of party. So the first thing that I'm going to make is the bottom piece and I'm going to need fabric for that. And I'm going to use this bed sheet. This is Pele's first set of sheets when he moved to Canada that he brought over from Sweden. And he bought it from Ikea. So I'm going to make use of it and then create shorts. I was going to do a tutorial on how to make shorts, but considering that this was my first attempt at making clothing from scratch, I totally messed it up on my first try. So I'm going to fast forward this part and entertain you with voiceovers. I was undecided on which shorts to make, short shorts or dressier yes. shorts. Luckily, I made templates for both. I also wanted pockets so I can carry necessities such as my phone, a wallet, or blocks of cream cheese. So I used an old pillowcase for this. And here, I pretend to know what I'm doing, but what's really happening is... After sewing all the pieces together and spending hours working on this, it wasn't until late in the evening that I realized it wasn't going to work out. It's about almost midnight. I'm still up late at night because I had to redo the shorts. The first one that I made was a bit too tight. Bruh. The template that I used was more for like kind of dressy shorts. And then I went with the other template, the one with the shorter shorts. and. It's turning out much better. I just want to finish this this evening. I was up until one last night finishing off these shorts, but now it's done and I'm going to make a top to go with it. This is Pele's old sweater. It's quite oversized. Like I'm 164 centimeters. He's 194 centimeters or six foot four and I'm five foot four. So an entire foot difference between the two of us. So I'm going to try to make something oversized to go with the shorts. I'm going to reuse the same fabric and we shall get started. This was actually the fun part of creating the outfit. My inspiration for this piece was the love child of the costumes used in midsummer and streetwear fashion. I was also able to use Carl 2.0 in making the top, putting him to good use. It's coming together, but I look like I escaped from an insane asylum. <laughs> I did find this old dishcloth, and I'm thinking of using this somehow for the collar piece. A couple of stains on here, but that adds to the character. It's day three of trying to put the outfit together. I'm estimating that it would take about a day and a half to make shorts and a top. But because this is my first time making these and not having any experience and also like messing up the shorts the first time around and also working during the daytime, it's causing a bit of a delay. But I'm aiming to finish it today because I plan to wear this for Swedish Midsummer, which is coming up in a couple of days actually coming up really soon. So I'm gonna finish off this smoothie and then get back to finishing off the top. Now that I've gotten familiar with making shorts and top, maybe I should do a tutorial on how to make them. What do you guys think? I'm almost getting there. I just now need to fix the sleeves to shorten it and I have an idea as to how I want it to look. I'm getting excited. I'm getting really, really excited. So before I go out and wear this outfit and celebrate midsummer, I need a haircut. As you guys can see, getting a bit long. So I'm gonna clean it up. I'm gonna spare this for you guys. I'm just gonna fast forward it. As a last minute thing to do, I'm going to put a pocket, oops, in that pocket, to put on the front so that I can carry my wallet, my phone, and any other things that I want.